Hey, this is Future Rhonda. Just a little disclaimer. This video ended up being much longer than I expected it to. So maybe either speed me up or grab your diamond painting and paint along while I unbox. Um, after I get into unboxing, I insert a note regarding some issues about these paintings and there will be a follow up at the end with some pictures and some more commentary. So I hope you stick with me. Thanks. Hey y'all, this is Rhonda. Welcome back to my channel. I have an unboxing here. This one is from Home Fun Official Store. This is from the AliExpress anniversary sale. It was ordered March 31st and received on April 16th. That's 16 days from order to delivery. Uh, today is April 19th. So this has been sitting in my house, acclimating to the climate for three days. Not on purpose, it's just, this is the first chance I've had to unbox it. Uh, so there should be six in this box. So, where did my box cutter go? Here it is. All right. The box is in good shape. One little, that's not gonna, I don't believe that's gonna cause any problems with the, the paintings. Let's see if I can, I do not like fighting with the tape. I'm going to leave it on there and see if I can figure out which side is going to be the one where the flap is. There we go. And now let me get the other one. Okay. Okay. Close that up. Okay, I'll show you inside both. Both boxes. Here's one. Oops. There's one. And then there's the other one. I'm guessing all five paintings are on this and the rest of this is probably all diamonds, if I had to guess. Oh, that's heavy. Alright. So... crinkled on the end from shoving it in the box but I don't think that's going to I don't think that's going to be in the, in the drill field come on now alright where's my box cover They're way down there. I don't think I have any. There we go. And there's still some in here. Okay. On this side. Man, they have this packed in here. Good grief. Let's see. Boxes are empty. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Typical home fun drill kit is funnel, pin, three placer, thin tweezers, some nice baggies. And I've got, looks like they gave me a bonus one. not quite so obnoxious. Okay. They've got quite a few rubber bands. Well, not really rubber bands. They're the clear plastic bands. And I do not want to drop these on the floor because Biscuit will find them. Okay. Let me get this in the trash. And get these last couple off here. There's probably, let me go ahead and slide that off. Yep, just as I thought. There's more on this one. These are going to be nice and curly to deal with. Not nice in a good way. Okay. <sighs> Five minutes to get the rubber bands off. Okay. All right. Let me set these to the side. And we will, I'm going to see how I want to do this. Okay. There's one. I'm being very careful with these because I don't want to. I do not want to mess the adhesive up. Set those there for right now. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of let it hang off the side of my table. And I am going to go over the edges like I always do. This is split right down the middle. Okay. Alright, y'all wish me luck. Here I go. I don't even I, I don't even know which one this is yet because the other the glue goes over on this quite a bit. It's a close to a half inch at least. Okay, I'm gonna do this a little bit at a time. I get this started I'll try to get it back in frame for you I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time I don't see any major problems there's like some maybe the drill kit the I don't know what this just some grooves in there but it's nothing
Okay, I know which one this is now. Ooh, close enough. All right, I'm gonna, oh, stuck to it. Put this back down and flip it around and I'll show it to you from the other side. I'm gonna press down the middle with a good bit of pressure and make sure that okay. Come on now. Oh, let me push this down. go it's a close-up picture of a bicycle with flowers in a basket I have another one in my very first video it's a, a whole bicycle it's like a little beach scene or no it's just a garden scene with uh, what you're seeing little creases in a glue it's not really rivers because it's not raised it's just like creases I don't know it's not it's, it's not raised so I don't think it's gonna be a problem I see it in a lot of them but let me get a close-up of the the symbols for you doesn't look like anything too crazy and they do have the uh, the dummy squares around each one. first show you this. This is Home Fun Official and just like usual their bags have the white strip with the black type on it. Nice and easy to read. Okay. Here's the info. It's 40 by 40. I mean, sorry, 40 by 50. Mm, there's a good picture of it. I like it. This one has 38 colors. not raised so I don't think it's I don't think it's gonna be a problem with the glue I don't know 
quite how to describe them, but I've seen many videos where you can just kind of see it looks like rivers, but they're not raised. So I think it'll be okay. bubbles out. Get this out of the way. Okay. The next surprise is gonna be is there one in this or two? Let's just one. Okay. Right, let me do my thing here. lot of uh, overlap on the glue you can see right here is where the drill field ends and here is where the protective paper ends that's a good half inch of glue so you're definitely going to need some something to put around that whatever your choice your favorite thing is washi tape mask and tape um, on something this big, I might use my little parchment paper strips that I showed you in a different video. When it's little, when it's a thin piece, I'll usually use masking tape. Um, too cheap to use washi tape. I'm going to say I've heard painter's tape works the same. I mean, it's pretty much masking tape. It's just colored. Okay. Same deal with this one. It's uh, It's got the... We'll call them flat rivers. This not really... I hate to call them rivers though because that gives a bad... Um, they don't feel raised. Yeah. Good news is I know which one this is now. Okay. Okay. This is probably as interesting as watching a pot of water a pot of water boil. But Dang it. Okay. I'm going to leave that right there for a minute and get the drills for this real quick. Alright, this is like an aqua colored tree. Can't really. Yeah, you can. You can actually see it better than I can. There's a trunk right there and then the tree. This is 40 by 40. And let me get you a close up. And Everything looks pretty clear. Okay. Let me cover. This is still wanting to curl. Get 
if I knew which ones I was unrolling, I would show you the inventory sheet first, but the picture is on the inside. So, okay. This is 33, 33 colors. I said it is a 40 by 40. the symbols and the BNC codes. you can see that you can see that I'm just leaving it curled just letting it hang out and I am not going to force it flat oh I know which one this is They're very generous with their glue overhang, if you know what I mean. Not so much on the sides, but on the ends. I think this is the best one yet. This one looks really nice. want to go too far with this okay Let's cover that back up it's sticky glue is good Y'all probably know I love me a puppy dog. I love all animals, but love dogs. And I especially love a biscuit. But anyway, here is this one. You can probably see what it is before I even show you the uh, actual picture. It says, Life is Better with a Dog. It's uh, one of those blackboard uh, paintings. This one's a 40 by 50. In which for this one, oh lord, look at that confetti. <laughs> wow. But it's clear. If you're going to have confetti, at least let it be clear. Am I right?
This one looks really good. I'd say as far as adhesive goes, this is so far the best one. It's still wanting to curl up on me though. Um, let's see another way to throw it down. Yeah, I don't want to have it stick to itself. So. Right. Uh-oh. Sorry. I I think every video, I think I bump you. Okay. All right, let's look at the inventory sheet. nice and crinkly. Okay. This one has 24 colors. And again, it is a 40 by 50. And there's a close-up of it. I think it's cute. I think that's gonna like it. <laughs> I actually have a diamond painting um, of a little chihuahua. It looks, I think it's a, like an oil painting that was converted. And if I didn't know better, I would think that I did a custom of him. It looks almost like him. One day I'll, I'll, I'm hoping to do an inventory, a video of all of my inventory. And I'll show it to y'all. There we go. All right. <gasps> Halfway. say I'm going to be doing inventory for days and days. Yeah. I think all Easter weekend I'm going to be doing inventory. Okay. Where does this one? Okay. Um, See what the next surprise is. I've got another package, actually another two packages I'm waiting on from the anniversary sale. They still have time. They're not quite super late yet. I think these came very timely. Pretty quick for coming all the way from China. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. It's sticky. Get this back down. really hard for them to line that up or it doesn't overlap at all and just about every one I get or the paper split and it's 
the uh, double-sided adhesive is usually a little overlap. Some are worse than others. A, long, a while back, I got one that was really bad. It was probably about two centimeters overlap. And, yeah, it's okay, though. I did see somebody once did a, um, I want to say... I'm not going to mention the channel because I can't remember exactly which one it was, but uh, I want to say she took an X-Acto knife and somehow she removed the extra, the extra bit of adhesive that was overlapped. Get this down here. I am planning on this one to be a gift. Nice buck. Looks like he's standing in a river. It's gonna be this one. Okay. Get this up here. This one is a 50 by 60. I'll show you that one. I'll show you the clear one in just a minute. But here are the symbols. few different ones on this one. If it comes out good, it's just going to be for my uncle. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I take my time. I know some of y'all uh, watch the videos on um, a faster speed. So I'll, maybe I'll maybe you'll, it'll seem like I'm going a normal speed if you're watching me in fast speed. Okay, here we go. Isn't he handsome? Look how pretty. Alright, there are 37 colors in this one. This one does not, this one is not split, not unless it's split this way, but all the way across here, it's one piece. Oh, I bet it is because the sun, sunner group is going this way. So it's probably, ah, it's going to be a pain in the butt. Let me, I'm going to need to be careful with this one then, just in case I do not need to be taking this all the way off.
glue looks really good. Okay, let me get this side. This one's my flower. Alright. Do not like come on now. Let me try it this way. Why they gotta roll it all crazy like this? get just enough of this curl out of here I can get it on the table okay that should be good got a little bit of overlap in the glue yeah this one's overlapped a little bit actually it's kind of a lot here at the bottom I might need to do that surgery I was talking about it's probably a good two two millimeters so I need to be real careful pulling this one back here. And as I go up here, it gets less. So it's not as overlapped on this side as it is down here. And I'm going to push it down. Yeah, it's got a little bit of raise to it. I might try to take an X-Acto knife to that and remove that top layer of adhesive just in this last, maybe right here, where it's really thick. This side's not bad at all. Okay, let me get this down and I will show you finally what this one looks like. Okay. These are some little abstract flowers. I think what I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to show you the canvas. And then I'm actually going to put the protective paper back on and flip it to the other side so I can show you a close up of where the uh, adhesive is overlapped. This side looks fantastic, though. Clear. There's that shine on the glue. This looks really good. Right in the very middle, right where that light is hitting, is I think where I might need to do a little, a little surgery on this because when I was pulling back the paper, I kind of lifted the the adhesive up a little bit and it didn't quite go down straight and when I get to right here you can't even you can barely see it it is about two millimeters though and it's right about see if I can turn it this way yeah That's enough of that. And I'm stuck to it. There we go. Yep. 
anytime you see your your paper that might be overlapped, just take it slow. If you unpeel it really slow, you'll do minimal damage. Um, One reason why I picked this one was because of the colors. It is really pretty. This one. I'm actually going to show you all the colors of this one. Just because. I'm just going to throw them all out here. And I'm not going to. Three pins, there's four three pins. Bright green. Yeah. These are pretty. Okay. This one is a 40 by 50, and it's 45 colors. It is. A close up. Let's see if I can get it to where. Okay. A couple of them look a little dark, but I. I always use my light pad, so I think it'll be okay. And they had to go over here because it was so many. Okay. Look at that bright pink. one. Oh, okay. All right. This one is crazy like the last one. Let's hope it's not overlapped too bad. Ah, I don't know why they got to fold them, roll them. Weird. Damn it. Sorry. Last one, and I tear the paper. Go figure. Okay. This one is definitely not overlapped. There's a little gap in between this one, which might actually not be too bad. It's Meh, a millimeter or less. I think there's still going to be plenty enough adhesive for the drills to stick. And if it's not, then I'll just use a little bit of glue. Alright. Oops. That was me. If it's wrinkled, that was me. Oh, that's curly. Come on now. Let me. Okay. 
this round. I do not want to wrinkle this. Okay. See, it's wanting to crease right there just from just from the pressure of trying to force it unrolled. Alright, let me see if I can do this quickly. See that big old crease? That's from me trying to unroll it. But it's, I believe, it's okay. Keep doing that. Glue's okay. Okay, figure out where. Here we go. As you can see, it says home. It's like um, distressed boards, like if you would uh, make a sign out of pa uh, leftover pallets. And what you're seeing, I don't believe those are rivers because they're not really raised. I've definitely seen a lot worse. I'm about to lose. I need to put this back down. I'm about to lose my protective paper, and I do not want to do not want to spend time trying to line this back up. I will show you this though. See the little gap in the middle? It's about a millimeter. That's just, that's almost the whole length down. It gets a little narrower. Um, that's where the paper does not quite meet together. I think I would rather this than dealing with the other one. I wonder why they use such huge bags. I don't know. There are 30 colors in this one. And it is a 50 by 40. And there's a bitch close up of it. And okay. Hey, y'all, this is Future Rhonda. I wanted to hop on here and give you an update on these canvases. They rested overnight on my dining room table flat. And the next day I went to put them in my portfolio for storage and I noticed a little rippling beneath the opaque protective cover. So when I peeled it back, this is what I saw. Um, it looks like the glue might have retracted. I'm, I'm not sure, but 
I don't think it was anything I did because I was very careful when I unboxed them as you hopefully saw. Um, it will require me to take an X-Acto knife to them to try to smooth them out a little bit before I apply diamonds. But I don't think it's severe enough that I would contact the seller and ask them to rescind replacements. Um, but it just goes to show that no matter how careful you are, things can still go wrong. Well, thank you for sticking with me. Y'all have a good evening. I hope to talk to you soon. Good night. Bye-bye.